The knot that I like to use when I'm connecting my backing to my new line is a uni to uni knot. Now this is also great for connecting braid to a fluorocarbon leader if you're using that application. So what you want to do is you run these two lines together, like so. Then you make a loop with this tag right here. I always start on the left hand, go through the hole. With eight pound test fluorocarbon, really four loops is about all you need. So I'm gonna go through it four times. And this knot will get easier as you practice it. It becomes something that you can almost do with your eyes closed. All right, then I swap over to this side. I wanted to pull, I, want, I pull that semi-tight. Swap over to this side, loop it four times through the hole. Four. Pull that one semi-tight. You'll see how the knot kind of closes right there. Now when you're cinching down any knot, the key is wetting that line. So just a little bit of wetness on it. Pull it tight. And you'll see when I pull these, it comes right together. And there's a perfect back-to-back -back knot. Now, now what makes this so good for the braid to fluoro leader is this, you know, this knot is never going to be coming through your guides. I'm using it to connect my backing to my new line. But on a braid to floral leader, this is also a perfect knot because of the fact that these tag ends are going to come out parallel to your main line, which if you have a piece of line or a tag coming out uh, perpendicular, you're going to be in big trouble. So that's why this is such an awesome knot. So then I just clip these off nice and tight to the knot. And voila, you're ready to spool up your reel. All right, now the next part, the final part is spooling it on your reel. Now this can be kind of difficult if you're by yourself. So I've devised a little way of spooling my line. Don't be alarmed that I'm not wearing any shoes and always make sure you wear socks so you don't burn your toes. That hurts, I promise you. All right, so I turn my feet in, bend my toes and put them in the holes on the spool and start winding. Voila, perfect line spooling every time. Now what I want to do with a spinning reel, especially with straight fluorocarbon, is I want to make sure that I'm not getting any line twists. So about a quarter of the way into my spooling, I'll stop and I'll just drop my rod tip a little bit. And if my line starts kinking around the tip, I'll actually take that spool and flip it over and do a little more like that. And that'll kind of neutralize those loops. But right now, normally coming off the bottom part of the spool up into the spinning rod, from this angle when you're holding your, holding it when you're holding it with your toes is perfect. So spool it up. And I'm not going to fill the spool completely. There's really no use in doing that. And when you're using straight fluorocarbon, if you have too much line on the spool, it's going to have a tendency to try to jump off on you. So I'm going to get it about three quarters full. Probably right about there is plenty of line. That's probably going to be close to 75 to 100 yards already. And snip it off and you're ready to go fishing. For more tips and tactics, go to sweetwaterfishingtv.com and also like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.